How do you get started using ChatGPT to build up your startup? Hey guys, I'm Stefan. I'm the founder of the Data Management Bureau Raffles Ambassadors, uh, which I uh, founded myself as well as the co-founder uh, in a new company focused on uh, AI automation solutions. So been been doing this uh, for uh, a little while now started my own company in uh, December last year so un under a year still but have gotten started using actively ChatGPT and other AI based uh, based solutions and uh, programs to uh, as part of my daily activities for for building up my business so I wanted to take this uh, this time and this video today to uh, uh, test out some prompts for kind of showcasing you guys uh, what can, how do you actually get started with using ChatGPT if you haven't used it as actively uh, yourself uh, when building your startup or, or your business and uh, kind of showcasing some things of how effective it is, what are some of the limitations and what are some of the prompts that can actually get you started with, with using this in practice. So I've set up five uh, prompts here that I wanted to test out in uh, in practice so here we have uh, first of all understanding your market needs so I got this prompt right here we have analyzed current market trends and consumer behavior in and let's say uh, in a particular industry and let's just say we're going for the automotive industry uh, the automotive industry and identify key consumer pain points. So let's just see what happens here. So right now we're on the 4.0 uh, model. So let's see what happens here. So we're getting uh, an analysis here. We're getting uh, the automotive industry is undergoing a significant transformation driven by technological advancement, changing consumer preferences and evolving market trends. Here is an analysis and then we get electrification with EVs, electric vehicles, uh, global shift towards sustainable energy, which is an important part. Governments are incentivizing manufacturers and buyers with subsidies and tax breaks. So these are all, uh, also some important things um, uh, and, uh, and interesting points that comes up on the way. We, we find battery innovation uh, push towards improving battery life. And then we kind of immediately get a better understanding of what are some trends in the market right now that we should pay attention to that we should be aware of if we are in this industry we're, t we're talking about so we have uh, furthermore autonomous and connected vehicles self-driving technology connected car technologies sustainability and environmental concerns push for sustainability emission standards which are all affecting how the automotive uh, industry have to uh, behave and act in, in the production or and distribution of new cars, of course. Also a great shift towards online car sales with e-commerce in automotive and direct to consumer sales where Tesla have popularized the DTC model and um, also the rise of mobility as a service with ride sharing and car sharing as kind of an alternative or uh, alternative to buying a car could be just using these services like uber lyft zipcar and so on and also subscription uh, models for um, leasing uh, in cars as well and then we see some consumer behavior shift demand for sustainable transportation emphasis on safety and technology preferences for personalized experience convenience and speed in car buying shift from ownership to usership uh, and some key co uh, uh, key customer pain points, initial cost of EVs, range anxiety and charging infrastructure, complexity and lack of transparency, depreciation, high cost of ownership, inconsistent. So here we immediately get like eight different points for pain points where we could, uh, like if, if we, if if you ran a business with an automotive, then, then you could think, okay, how can we solve this problem for the customer? And how, and then based on that, could use that in marketing and sales for actually closing deals in that case Im immediately get some ideas for how you could uh, use this knowledge to your advantage it's, it's worth noting of course that this is um, has to be taken at uh, uh, with uh, 
kind of a um, uh, yeah a, a bit of skepticism of course as always it's still possible for uh, the Ch for ChatGPT to hallucinate to make up stuff the the extent to which it hallucinates and makes up stuff has reduced a lot in previous uh, models but on uh, so so the quality generally is a lot better it's still important to do some extra kind of research and checks other than that but this gives you i think in most cases a good starting point for things to think about when it comes to how to develop forward i will have a few other uh, i will show a few other uh, prompts as well we've already gone over five minutes so i don't want to go uh, use as much time of course as i did in uh, the comparison between 4.0 and 0.1 mini and 0.1 uh, preview which went up to 40 minutes but i will showcase a few more uh, a few more prompts to just to show you what is possible here you see all of this was just from a simple one sentence prompt here so let's see here again based on common startup operations uh, suggest ai powered solution to automate time consuming tasks let's see what we get here and then first an explanation uh, of the ben benefits, growth and innovation. We see customer service automation, AI chatbots, virtual assistants, uh, MS Copilot or uh, GPT based solutions. Uh, we get AI driven sentiment analysis, customer feedback, automated email responses, data entry and document processing, optical character recognition, robotic process automation, AI-driven validation, uh, data validation, inventory management automation. You, like you get all of this at once, uh, just from a single prompt. And that's what's so amazing with these new solutions as well. I think it's, it's absolutely incredible here. Marketing and sales automation. You see, like there's so much, uh, there's so much we get out just from a simple, pr uh, simple prompt here. So like I'm, not even going to go uh, too into depth about all of these things because we have uh, still have three more prompts to go go through but you can see we're getting so much information so much value just from writing a simple prompt into 4.0 uh, in this case absolutely incredible so this is the amazing for the most tasks it says CRM automation workflow automation <laughs> we're getting so much stuff uh, logistic and supply chain automation getting everything uh, out here at once basically <laughs> absolutely incredible so let's see when this finishes customer retention and personalization another great important point then we get the summary right here Let's see, yeah, then it's finished, but it's got a lot of great stuff uh, for us to go through. Then we get use AI to create a personalized marketing strategy by segmenting our audience and delivering targeted campaigns for AI chatbots. Uh, chatbots connected to uh, uh, tailored with a custom knowledge base based on CRM integration. Let's say just. Then we get a breakdown, we get the audience segmentation, get the industry based segmentation, get business size and scale, customer support needs, sales funnel stage. We get basically instructions for how to do everything, engagement history, personalized campaign messaging, what to focus on, what to avoid, so on for enterprises, uh, distinguishing between for small businesses and for enterprises, for e-commerce, for financial services, personalization at scale, some uh, alternative for AI tools to use and everything, a pain points, focused messaging, campaign a execution channels, and so on and so forth. Web personalization. campaign personalization for retention, customer lifecycle marketing, predictive analytics, so much stuff. Uh, you know, you just 
get from a sim uh, simple prompt like this we get AI driven analytics A B testing like you immediately get so much stuff to do you know uh, just based on this simple prompts you get everything right there and uh, there is finished with that and let's go over to the fourth one we get based on available industry reports and public accessible data predict customer behavior trends for the next quarter and suggests actionable strategies increased focus on sustainability eco-friendly products data support pay a premium for sustainable products shopping experiences There is growing demand for instant responses, subscription certificate. I think there are some errors uh, in how the response is coming out now in terms of the formatting and uh, the grammar here for some reason. Uh, but overall, we're getting some uh, getting some decent ideas at least. There are some. Uh, there seems to be some hiccups here and there, but overall it's doing pretty well. Uh, so not not completely perfect, uh, of course, in in all cases here, but pretty pretty interesting, pretty good starting point overall, I'd say, uh, which is pretty interesting. Definitely something to build further ahead with. Like definitely something that could take you hours and hours to uh, actually make on your own uh, to build further on. You immediately get this, and then you can see. And, and reason, do some strategizing, think, okay, what is uh, reasonable here? What do we need to change? Uh, and uh, where do we move, uh, move on from here? Uh, so let's see, um, let's see another design and AI driven testing process for a custom, uh, a custom CRM solution. Uh, that simulates user interaction and suggest improvements. Let's just try this one. Let's see, here's a step by step guide. Define testing objectives and parameters, usability, performance, scalability, data integrity, security immediately goes over these steps which are an essential part of any kind of requirement document uh, simulate user interactions with AI, use behavior simulation use nlp machine learning and so on tool example rpa stress and load testing natural language interaction simulation automate functional testing with ai ai powered test scripts end-to-end -end process testing Uh, regression testing, let me see, AI driven bug detection and issue prioritization, automated bug identification, tool example, anom uh, anomaly detection, let's see, issue, prior uh, issue prioritization with AI, and AI driven usability testing, heat maps and user behavior analysis. So basically we get the entire script uh, for how to go about uh, doing this and to set up uh, a system like this. And then we, if anything is unclear, we can just ask it about those things in particular. Suggest so improvements based on AI analysis, we get everything we need basically. So that is pretty interesting. Workflow optimization suggestions. They can detect inefficiencies. There you go. Define objectives, prioritize usability, performance, scalability, data integrity, and security and testing. Simulate interactions. And then we get a summary here, which is always great. So yeah, uh, here we have gone through five different prompts for that startups can use for uh, for building and uh, building out their their strategy, getting some ideas for how to build their business, their products, and their marketing uh, better. So hopefully, here that this may have given you an idea of how to use ChatGPT, how to use AI in a more targeted way to build your business in a focused and targeted manner. 
and uh, and yeah so if you uh, if if you like this if you um if you got some ideas for uh, ideas from this found this helpful be sure to like and subscribe uh, to uh, to the, uh, to our to our channel for more videos like this also be sure to comment below what your experiences are generally with using ChatGPT or other AI based tools for building your startup or your business and uh, other than that I wish you all an amazing day forward I'm looking forward to seeing you all again in the next video